Okay, let's look at these numbers real quick here. You have arguably the best team in baseball, a pitcher with an ERA under three, facing a team that's eight games back in their own division with a pitcher with an ERA over four. Now, how big of a favorite should that good team be? Plus 115? That doesn't make any sense to me, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take it because I think the odds makers are on top of this. That is the Padres on the plus money line today against the St. Louis Cardinals. Really surprising line here when we look at the overall statistics, but when we break it down, we're gonna see why the Padres aren't that big of a favorite and why this is good value. Let's go ahead and let's talk about the line. Plus 115, that's what it is about across the board. A couple places might get it at 116. I got a feeling actually this line might go down uh, according to the way it's moved already. It's already moved down just a little bit. People are, I think, are jumping on the Padres in a good value spot for them. A hot team right now who should be excited to play the St. Louis Cardinals. Pitching today for the Cardinals, got John Lackey having a great year. Comes into this game, 2.87 ERA, 1.18 whip, 116 strikeouts. He's 10-7 and seven on the year. Good veteran pitcher. On the road, though, his ERA jumps to over four, and his ERA, uh, excuse me, his whip jumps to one point about 1.26. So look for the Padres to go ahead and get to him today. They've been hitting the ball pretty well recently. I look for them to continue that trend. For the Padres, Andrew Kashner really has perplexed me this season. The guy is a good pitcher, but he's not had a good year. Pitched better recently in the second half of the season. Comes in 4.20 ERA, 1.36 whip, 116 strikeouts is the exact same as John Lackey, and a 4 and 12 record unbelievable he hasn't got a lot of run support from his team first of all but he's much better than uh, his numbers at home his era drops to 3.7 and he's already pitching against the cardinals once this year pitched really well allowing just one earned run offensively the cardinals surprisingly not one of the best in the league but they're pretty solid they come into this game they're ranked 21st in run scored per game 16th in ops and they're 16th also in uh, team batting average kind of mediocre numbers for arguably the best team in baseball you know, they have a couple nice pieces here and there, tend to get hits at the right times, but they are a pitching first team. Um, offensively, they're kind of subpar, but you know, hey, they find a way to win. Padres, a little bit hotter as of recently. Overall in the year though, not so great. They're ranked 19th in runs scored per game. They're 28th in OPS. They're also 28th in team batting average. And those stats do not go up in Petco Park where the Padres play. One of the hardest places to hit in all of baseball. It's always been that way. Still, the Padres recently in their last 10 games are seven and three, playing really well, knocking the ball around. They just swept the Braves, and against the Braves, they averaged more than five runs per contest in those three games. So I look for them to continue that today, do some damage. They should be excited to play, to, uh, play such a team as the Cardinals. Padres not technically out of it, but they're pretty much out of it. The Cardinals might be surprised today. All right, so we got some plus money value here on the Padres. We're going to back them today. Anything from uh, plus 100 to any sort of plus money line. It's going to be my underdog play of the day in Major League Baseball, and I wish you luck on your plays of the day.